Hello, and welcome to your 1412 mini lecture on acid and base equilibrium. Strong acids and bases completely dissociate. They do not reach an equilibrium. However, weak acids and bases only partially dissociate. They reach an equilibrium in which there are both acids and bases and conjugate acids and conjugate bases present in the reaction mixture. Here we see an equilibrium of acetic acid in water. When the equilibrium expression is written, water is left out because it is a pure liquid. Each weak acid or weak base has a known dissociation constant, Ka or Kb. These numbers are available in the reference section of your book. You do not need to memorize dissociation constants. If you need one, it will be given to you. Here we see the equilibrium of a weak base and water. When the equilibrium expression is written, again, water is left out. The equilibrium constant for weak acids is called Ka. The equilibrium constant for weak bases is called Kb. It is interesting to know how much of a weak acid or base dissociates to become the conjugate. To calculate this, one uses a rice table. R stands for balanced reaction. I stands for the initial molarities or partial pressures. C stands for the reaction changes as it reaches equilibrium. E stands for the equilibrium molarities or partial pressures. Each of these letters represents a row in the table. Let us look at the table in more detail. The table has four rows, as mentioned on the previous slide. It also has a column for each molecule or ion in the balanced reaction. It is very important to include coefficients in the reaction on the table in this reaction, the coefficients are all 1. In other equilibriums with coefficients greater than 1, it is vital that you include the coefficient on the top row. Usually, you will be given some initial concentration of the weak acid or base. That molarity goes in the initial row under the weak acid or base. The boxes under the water will have no numbers. You can simply write a line or in A. At the beginning of a reaction, or initially, there are only reactants present. The concentration of the products are zero. As the reaction goes forward, reactant concentrations will decrease as product concentrations increase. The amount of change is not known, so it is called X. The reactant in this re reaction will have negative X written in the change box. The two products will have positive X written in their boxes. Note, the coefficient of the species in the balanced reaction becomes the coefficient of X in the table. This is why it is so important to write the coefficients in the top line. To get the fourth line, simply add together the second and the third lines. The results will represent the equilibrium concentrations of all species in the equilibrium expression in terms of the initial concentration and x. Set the equilibri equilibrium expression equal to the equilibrium constant which will be provided, and then solve for x. Plug x back into each equation in the bottom row to get the equilibrium concentrations of all species in the reaction. This has been your 1412 mini lecture on acid and base equilibrium. Please go to your homework and complete the associated assignments at this time. If you run into trouble, 
please ask for help. Help is always available.